Yeah. Hello and welcome to a 4v4 played on Cyrus, a 3v3 map, uh, which is usually used in 2v2 tournaments. But these guys are playing with reduced income. Um, so we'll cover the deck reviews and then we'll talk about the deployment. Right, so this is the draft for the 56Y player, 11-9er. Um, a note is that this is uh, 0.75 times income. So you can build your div a little bit differently in that case. Once again, I do apologize for my voice. I am ill. Uh, I've got my uh, cup of hot milk here. Um, and yeah, so it's not 0.75 times income. So you can build your div a bit differently. Generally, you can uh, upvet things more. Uh, it just depends what you want to do. So it's difficult to, to give good suggestions for 0.75 times income. Um, but certainly, like, if you're on a 4v4 on Cyrus, you probably uh, don't need, um, what's that, 3, 5, 7 CVs in a 4v4 on a 3v3 map, which is usually played in 2v2. <laughs> so, um, so you probably don't need that many CVs. I can appreciate, you know, you hop into a lobby, you probably don't have time to change things. Three cards of supply is fair enough if you're going for artillery. <clears throat> and then over here, yeah, I like the decision to upvet all this. Um, I would consider upvetting. Like, in a in a 1v1 deck, this would be fine. But because it's 0 0.75 times income, I would consider upvetting these as well. Um, maybe not the Conkers, you probably don't have to. Uh, but, but the infantry, certainly. The Afghansky, um, you could go for 3 vet. I mean, like I said, it's 0 0.75 times income, so it can be worth doing. Um, and then here we go. So artillery. So they're going for the grads. So that's why there are three cards of supply. So that's fair enough. I wouldn't up upvet the grads. What I would suggest is not bringing the... <laughs> so th this is the... Um... Oh, no, I see. I made a mistake there. So, so that yeah, this is 120mm. Mortar, great for smoke. Um, so yeah, I would recommend bringing this. Um, another one you can bring instead is the Nona. Um... So it's got it's got a bit more range. It's got the whole it's a correction. So on these bigger maps, it, and it's self propelled, but you lose availability. Um, but yeah, you could also bring this in the MTLB. But if you want to smoke at the start, then or near the start, then the truck makes more sense than the MTLB. If you're looking for more of a late game approach, then the MTLB makes more sense. Um, yeah, the 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 orcs people tend to try and bring them in the melter because it's like Warhammer forty k combo orcs and melters, right? And it looks really funny, but for forty points, it really is not that good. Um, it looks very funny, but it's got less than one armor, which means it dies a lot, um, and it's forty points. Whereas you you know th this squad anyway is too uh, overpriced for what it is forty five points for ten men. You compare that to Zikarungs, which is now I think thirty five points for eleven men. Um, it might have gone up to 40. Oh, so that's now 45 points for 11 men. Okay. Um, it's still, uh, it's still, still, still expensive because it's less men. So that's worth keeping in mind. Um, it's good to have a mix of wheel transports and, uh, Helo stuff and everything. I agree with bringing these guys in the truck because they're they're very expensive and um, uh, you want to spam them out and you really don't want to be buying helicopters for them because if they die in the helicopter, you're going to be very upset. So I can understand that decision. Um, yeah. So uh, this thing is really strong. You should try and fit that in somewhere. Maybe, you know, because you, you don't need all these CVs. So there you go, you've got two points now, so then you could try this. This thing is actually really good. <coughs> I preferred it before they changed it, but it fires quite fast, and if people aren't paying attention, they start losing their heavy assets. If they're paying attention, they tend to move, but it really is quite effective. It's very expensive, um, but certainly if you've got two firing at one thing, uh, but yeah, it is quite expensive. Uh, you want to get your grads out before you buy this, basically. Tank tab. So yeah, definitely bring in the, uh, the Repairer one, and then the regular one, sure, um, and then the CV one. This thing used to be really strong because it had forward deployed, but they took that off, and now you can get it in a helicopter, and it's just not worth it at all. Uh, I, in 1v1, I would still probably bring this with no transport, simply because of the good stealth, it's great, but for team games, 
it's probably not that useful actually because um, you can't do as much infiltration you don't need to cover a wide flank in team games so you don't need cheap units that can cover large amounts of space uh, in team games especially 4v4 on a 2v2 map these guys are a must bring so it's good that you've brought them um okay so the resvedka btr60 that's fair enough um and then yeah card of resvedka bmp2d so and, and then and then this thing which is a jabber uh, the, the issue you're gonna have is if you're fighting in the open on cyrus well i guess you would be putting your bmp recon bmp2d next to your uh your tanks um it's not a big deal because of the 55 Y tanks are generally defensive anyway. You shouldn't be running across open fields with them. But if you had to, you would want uh, you would want something like this. Very good optics. So it depends what you're going for there. AA. Um, I don't agree with the decision to not bring one of these. I can't remember which one's the good one. It's not this one. It's this one. Uh, this thing is really good. Um, uh, you know, it's, it's fast. It's wheeled. It's spag. It's great in your openers. Obviously, it's more of a 1v1 thing. But you probably don't need two two cards of Iglas, right? You could get rid of one of those and put this in instead. And then yeah, the Strela 10M. It's quite pricey now, but you do need it. The Afghanski's kinda of bad. <laughs> helicopters, lots of helicopters, as you might expect. That's fair enough. Um AA helos. Uh the MI twenty four PEs. Um The V is cheaper, but you know team games so you can afford to buy the expensive stuff because you're covering quite a narrow flank and then here so not bringing the two lgbts is a shame um four fighters is in 1v1 you probably do need four fighters but in 2v2 you can probably afford to get rid of some fighters or, or you know 4v4 and and get this because these things are really really op um so you want to be bringing them wherever you can or just make sacrifices somewhere else. You can still get those four fighters. But in a in a four v four, your teammate should be providing your fighter escort. I understand that that is um, often at times not possible if you've got vegetables for teammates. So that's the deck review, and I'll see you back in game. So looking at the deployment here, remember this is reduced income, so zero point seven five times income. Um, we've got not a whole lot of forward deployed from from. That's really weird. Um, not a whole lot of forward deployed here from blue. So from the decks, basically the, the guy with the forward deployed, obviously 5th Panzer has Fernspeer, which we see here, and he's deployed those. The 2nd UK guy should really be trying to put 6 SAS in this town. Um, that should be his priority for this game, because if he can get 6 SAS in this town, um, he's going to just stop all air support into that town. Um, well, six is probably a bit excessive. Three, three is enough. Four, if you really want to shut it down, and then a bunch of infantry behind that, HSF, whatever. But instead, he's just gone for gazelle rockets and Lynx air mobile. It's actually not going over there. So I think a misallocation of resources here, and I just find it very, very strange that the second player is not opening with the SAS, which is his best unit. Um. So it looks like we've got third armoured on the left. Oh man, these 4v4 games. So this third armoured player just wants to sit here and let his team fight over the, the edge of the map. And we see the man with the very long name, uh, the, the, the American with a Mandarin name, um, is trying to tell him, bro, I need you to help me. <laughs> the front line is inside a Delta, not named Bravo. That's that's a bit excessive. I mean, the front line is more like here. Um, well, depends. But but yeah, you could contest them here at the start. So this guy's already resigned to his fate. Um, poor American Chinese guy is going to have to try and besiege Delta by himself. Um, as eighth, not a bad div for it. And then it's just 5th Panzer in the middle. So you've got one not doing anything. One on Delta, one on Charlie, one on Echo. Switch into their opponent's deployment. We see two fobs, so we're expecting a lot of MLRS. And certainly, basically, um, you know, if you're in a 4v4, you should expect a lot of artillery. And particularly when they're playing on a map which is smaller than it should be. Right, I mean, we play this in two v two games. That just means that there's there's less 
spaces to hide. Well, you know what I mean. That there's a there's higher target density, which makes the rocket RT even better. So I'm, I expected to see a lot of rocket RT. I do apologize. I'm ill. I'm drinking this uh, hot milk with cinnamon, ginger, and honey in it. It really does help, but you can probably tell from my voice that I'm not not all there. So, Spetsnaz Grew Stinger, these are basically your Proto SAS. They're not as good, but they're a lot cheaper. Uh, and they've got a much better AT. They've only got far strength. So, this guy, 56Y play 11.9, understands the, the, the role perfectly. Get all your, your pseudo SAS into the town. It's just strange to me that the second UK player is not doing that. And then on the left, we've got Last with 119Y. So if he can get set up here, then yeah, he can start bringing in the heavy tanks, get some smoke in this corner, get the CVs in. Um, and uh, yeah, so he's, he's, he's helping out in the middle a little bit, or at least he's taking this point. And yeah, okay, so 56Y player, um, MI8 rockets, yeah, okay, fair enough. I mean, the enemy should be putting SAS there, so this should not work. But they're not, so it it probably will. <laughs> it's um so I wouldn't do this because I would assume that the enemy second second UK player would be sending the SAS. It's, it's just very strange that they're not. And then just a whole boatload of stuff. So we've still got two players left to cover. So where's where's Pecky? So Pecky's playing Berlin Gropers. Um and he's going to the right, okay. And Lego Chow is playing KTA. And he's going to mid, add to the right. So that's fair enough. Um, okay, so I feel like Red's drafts a lot better. I don't know if they're a pre-made or what, but these guys definitely aren't. <laughs> so we'll cover the game and we'll do it from this perspective. Right, so they're off and it's time for me to thank the generous channel joiners. They get the names on the screen, they get the videos early. They don't mind when I'm ill, they still watch the videos, even though it sounds like I'm talking with a blocked nose, because I am. Um, it's a great way to help out the channel. One like, uh, one subscription at the lowest level. Oh, that's interesting. So, he's, he's messed it up. <laughs> but yeah, he wants to drop Napalm on the, on the road to stop the Fernspeer from getting it. We'll see if it actually works. Um, I believe you need two to stop the cars. It looks like he's changed his mind anyway. Um, just like the videos and comment on the videos. So that, that was, uh, it was an idea, but it, it hasn't worked because there's actually nobody there. Um, but maybe it would have worked. I, I, this is the problem with the gazelle. Right, he's not even got them on attack move. He's just literally just right clicking them in there. And now he's just right clicking that. Um, so they're all just going to die to these stingers, right? And, oh man, this is embarrassing. Is, are any of them going to make it out? Where's the fourth stinger? Oh, it actually did get burst down. So he's put it back in the transport to save it, which is pretty smart. Um, you see, he only has one HP, and the transport's got more than that. So, 007, bond to feed, no SAS, lost all his gazelle rockets, except one. Air Mobile Scouts here, just on a move order instead of attack move. So that means that they're not using their, uh, their MMGs. They are now, he must have stopped. These MI-8 rockets should have been killed by an SAS, but it's not there. And, um, yeah, it's not looking particularly great for blue. Red on a plus five. This uh, Antlick guy is now trying to help out his teammate, who is already dead, I guess. I'm looking for long Mandarin names. So he's still got a Kiowa and stuff, but most of his guys didn't. Although get, getting a Rangers to there is actually pretty, pretty powerful play. Surprised there was no Osa between the, uh, like, the KDA player especially. Um... But I, I guess they were just relying on the Strellas, but and and the Cub when it gets there. So okay, so so it's basically Donkey and uh, Adlick here. They're getting side shot by Conkers. Oh, that was close. Right, Mega Waffle one gets like one and a bit, flies over all the AA and dies. That's a shame. Probably could have. I guess he just couldn't see what he was shooting at. Um, because he, he, he definitely could have got more, or at least I feel like he could. Although Red's done a great job of spreading out so that they don't all die to one bomber. I like this. So basically, you can buy three of these in a minute. He's going for the HA. Is he going to get it? Like, that's like one of the best trades of all time. That's 80 points. 
and that's 310 or something. Um, so that was a very powerful kill, but blue are in, the mortars are in, and so this, the Bradley's going to get in. Gap is opening up on the Gov. Uh, some people swear by this. I think it's terrible because the rage is so bad, but some people seem to like it. So the point I was trying to make, uh, that, that, that's really not necessary. I mean, he has one HP, uh, <laughs> and now he's going to fly over all the Geppers. Should have evac this way, like manually evac this way. I don't think he's going to make it out because the Geppers going to get him. Yep. Um, don't really rate these napalm planes. So the the advantage of these is that you can buy three in a minute because they're eighty points. You can buy three for two forty. But when you're on zero point seven five income, oh here we go again. Is he going to move out of the way? Oh man, that is really really good value. So you get three in a card, and basically in one v one, you buy them on the first tick before the enemy AA gets set up. Um. And then you can you can get some serious damage off. Uh, <coughs> well, they've only got six HP, so they actually die to a roll of three hit. But this is a roll of two. <laughs> Over here, uh, looks like last is facing off against 007. Second UK is not that great in the open. You really wanted second UK in the town and. Um, like, you know, 5th Panzer over here, maybe, like, over here to over here. I really like this play from last. Like, he's taken this, which is... Basically, Blue should have got that at the start. They should have had a guy go in there. Like, Fernspeer down this road, basically. And then you put ATGMs here, and then you could cut the enemy reinforcements. But to give that up to Red is actually really bad, because, um... Especially with the range on this thing, you can basically shoot across the whole zone now. Although Blue have managed to take this, so it's clear that they want to go for this. Um, but they just keep getting blown up. My bombers. Uh, fire support has been requested. Donkey's switched into wield stuff now, just desperately trying to get some guys in. Like, he's actually taken the zone. I'm not sure why he just smoked there. <laughs> Is this going to get side shot? No, it's not. These are really difficult to shift, because they've got max range, 2,800 meters. This is only 2,275, and they're very fast. They've got very good accuracy. They, they, they're not so good against heavy tanks, but... Right, Jaguar coming out of this T-80. Uh, does get it, but will probably die for it. Um, okay. 7 HP. And then that rapier goes down without killing this. Uh, tracked rapiers have got very expensive, but it only had 1 HP, so the air mobiles finished it off with their, with their guns. And uh, yeah, Blue needs to try and take this. Uh, so that the enemy doesn't get CV in here. That's why I suppose 11 9 has brought his thing up. Although these Roland 2s, um, pretty good against helicopters. So he's backing off there. So yeah, they need to try and take this. you got to run, across, run an infantry across there. Then you can really lock that down. <coughs> Plus one for blue. Um, ah, okay. So they've started buying artillery. I was like, it looks like red have lost a lot of momentum. I really do not agree with buying... Uh, so much artillery all at once. Especially if you're not going to use it. So that misses and will now die. Um, it does have uh, shake and bake, so napalm and unguided, but they're evacuating it the wrong way. They need to bring it over here because there's obviously no blue units here. I think Last has done a pretty decent job. AT1's out. Hopefully they evac the right way. So he needs to turn them left now. Okay, so that was... Okay, no, he's, he's going back over the AA. F-11E Napalm just shouldn't have been there because you know about the Stingers. This one went the right way, so it survives. This one went the wrong way, so it doesn't. Red are slowly trying to get back in here because Blue, they're, they're always sitting here. They're not taking this part. Get an ATGM in there as well. That's really useful. Um, I'm expecting to see... Yeah, another CV. And he's brought smoke bottles this time. And, like, you know, if you buy a Grads for 420 points... On reduced income. Uh, so that's like more than two minutes income. Oh no, he's turning the wrong way again. They really need to stop doing that. <laughs> um, then you really should be using them as soon as they come in. Um, they've been sat there for a while now. The smirches as well, like it's a lot of points and you see like Blue's at the advantage. Like Blue's taking the advantage here because they've got more stuff on the map. Well, I'd be interested to see how... Like, like Blue losing this is really bad. Um, 
like 007 should have... To be honest, the fifth Panzer player should really be covering this, and second UK should be in here, but... It is what it is. Right, Grad's finally opening up, and uh, that's probably going to stop all of this. Um, these are just Panzer Grenadiers, so they've not got a lot of HP. And they clearly know where the CV is. Could you use some smoke here? That would be useful. Like, this thing is legit shooting everything in the zone. Wait, how did that die? Clearly to this. It's been pinged. But there's no uh, there's no tubes out or anything for blue. Like, one tube is really useful. So that guy is very dead now, I assume. Yep, down he goes. Um, lots of planes coming out. They're all flying the wrong way. You really want to be evac in the, to the left, but there's so many of them. Um, and there's actually not that much AA here. Uh, I've noticed that like Blue's composition is quite weak in that... Oh, I, I suppose 8th gets IHOX, actually. Yeah, I was going to say there's not a single IHOX div, but there is. Um, so 8th should really have like an IHOX here. Um, <clears throat> but I'm not sure what he's spending his points on, actually. Uh, hmm. Oh, yeah, he's sending the infantry into mid, because... Yeah. Anyway, so we see the smoke out for... Uh, for Pecky here. It's like he's attacking... Spestas Gru Stinger did go down. Like, Blue is making headway here. It's just the guy doing all the work is... Um, I suppose 5th Panzer does get good infantry, but it should really be 2nd Panzer Grand... 2nd uh, UK here. Um, you know, get some stuff up here. And, uh, losing this position was really bad because... Because, look, all these reinforcements, if Blue had this position, these reinforcements wouldn't be getting in. They'd have to come this way, which is covered by a tank. But instead, all of Red's reinforcements getting in here. And this is what we spoke about when you cap the zone just from the corner. Um, if you want to take the whole zone, you got to get over to here, or at least over to the town. More bombers out. Um, there we go, IHawks purchased. So that guy's actually going to get out. There was a Roland II around here, it must have died. Must have been shot by something. So Blue, they're doing their best, but there's a lot of artillery here, and um, like a lot. And their their uh, their window is closing to make something happen before the artillery pays for itself, basically. So it looks like he's going to try and get in there, but that is covered by this ATGM, which I you know, 007 should really be sending a unit over here, but he's got things to deal with here. He's just losing in a one v one to one one nine Y. It is in the open, <coughs> so you would expect that. But if he'd had more ATGMs, I do apologize. I'm very ill. If they had more ATGMs, it wouldn't have been this way. So, these are coming from the KDA player, and he gets six of them. So, uh, the thing is that IHOCs one-shot them. And there you go, you see. They're starting to lose the planes. But, like, really, like, all these units, you just have to send two of them over here to stop this. So, I think Blue's missing a trick here. Um, yeah. Like, that, I'm really not sure what to do. Like, this guy should just needs to fall back into the town, but... Blue's lost a lot of, uh, like, 007, he's lost a lot of units here. He's just being out-traded. Like, this is basically just a 1v1. I do wonder where his units went. Um, maybe he's not spending his points. I mean, this is obviously his fob here, but... Doesn't really mean anything. Lots of mortars. Like, lots of mortars. Um, and they, they are slowly chipping away at this, but... Very consistent. It takes a long time. 120 millimeter mortars are all right. Like the the lower calibers are honestly useless. But there you go. That that direct impacted that. And uh, okay, so how much artillery are we up to now? He's you know the, the grads and stuff out shooting. Um, but I, I think this is a bit overkill to tell you the truth. <laughs> like it's working, but um, I think Blue's really made a lot of mistakes here. And this is just like a straight 1v1. Um, last just win in there. Uh, Blue needed more ATGMs, like ATGMs here. Quite a few of them. You know, like, where were the Rover Milans? Where were the SAS? Just really strange. So lots of Blue dying now as all the uh, the artillery begins to start paying for itself. Like, they part. Okay, this is just. Um, Excessive, but I feel like they're they're already ahead, and so it's they're not really being punished for it. Um, but yeah, this is looking pretty bad now. <laughs> um, so Adlik needs to sort of unload these guys over here or something. But the thing is that these these have 
max range 80 GMs on him. So the, the only way to kill him really is with air. Um, and that... So that, that was a decent volley, but you really, you just shouldn't be sending stuff over the middle. They know there's loads of AA there. Um, and, and yeah, air would work against this because there's only two Tunguskas. One of them's really far away, so could have worked. These, they're not paying attention. And neither of these guys, because they're not shooting back. Like, oh dear. That's a lot of points. These are not cheap. That's 120 points each. So that's a minute's income there, basically. Uh, because they're on reduced income. I believe it's 175 they get on this good helicopter play here. Like, when blue are attacking, they're not bringing man pads with them. No stingers or anything. So the helicopters can just sit back here and mess them up. And then the artillery is getting the rest. So I think uh, I think Blue have missed their window. I think they had a window there, and they uh, they let it slip away, and now um, now they're entirely at the mercy of all this artillery. So uh, there's the surrender. So I guess that's game. Looks like it's going to take two minutes for the rest of them to surrender, but but yeah, all right, Blue needed to finish clearing this zone. They put the wrong guys in the wrong places. You needed uh, second UK in here. Not opening with the SAS was really bad. Um, the IHOC came out a bit too late. Like, uh, they could have punished those bombers so much more with the IHOC. And then buying mortars instead of, like, one heavy tube artillery piece. Looks like somebody's just stayed to the end there. We don't know which player it is. Sorry, a lot of surrenders. Um, so, like, one heavy tube could have cleared out, started clearing out some of those positions. So, looking at the profile pictures, I guess these guys were a four stack because they're all anime. Um, okay, so he's not that, had that many games, so that explains that. Um, it's generally, these guys have not, not had many games. So, do let me know what you think. Um, I'm just looking at this for my own uh, amusement. Wow. That guy did the best in the game, and he has 10 games. He must have reset his rank or something. Um, 687. This is me, apparently. That's still bugged. Um, 330. So, so yeah, it, it, quite a balanced game, actually. Like They've all got roughly the same number of games. It's just interesting to me that this guy seemed the most clued in when he has the least games. <laughs> so, yeah, lots of rocket artillery there at the end, but I, th I feel like... Um, the mistakes were made were made elsewhere. Wow, that actually did quite well for itself. Um, and then like, uh, yeah, like buying six mortars is, <laughs> yeah. What can I say? It's hard though. Like once once Red gets its all its artillery set up, if you're not in a already in a favorable position, which they weren't because they messed up their opener, Blue messed up their opener, then you're just not getting back in anywhere because you're just gonna get hit by four players rocket artillery, which is what happened there. Anyways, I'll see you in the next one. Do let me know what you thought. GG.